Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Expedition Icarus Alien Exploration Coaster created by Combat Wombat. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alrighty, this was sent in by one of our Discord legend builders, Combat Wombat, and here he says, A group of Wombat Corp scientists have managed to fully activate the Infinity Engine. They still don't understand it in the slightest, but they found the right combination of buttons to press and the th thermonuclear warheads to drop on to the machine's core. When the alien machine comes online, wormholes start open up around the Earth, leading to locations throughout the galaxy. Interstellar travel is finally possible, although they still have no control over the destination. Now, an expedition is being launched to the map to map out and explore the galaxy, colonize new worlds, and search for signs of alien civilization, and more importantly, alien technology. Hey man, this is the newest exploration coaster, a single rail coaster that explores an alien world with a weird planet, crazy terrain, and underground alien ruins. Hope you like it. I put a lot of work into the underground queue area as well, so if you check that out, it would be awesome. Thank you, and have a great day, combat wombat all right you know what i just thought of something because he talked about the um the infinity engine and the infinity engine was actually i think well, let me check the channel here it was coaster spotlight 300 and right now what are we at we're at like five 570 would be my last coaster at the time of this recording so we're coming up on 600 here holy moly <laughs> That is quite awesome. So this is kind of a play on his Infinity Engine. If you guys haven't seen that, go check out episode 300, the Infinity Engine. It looks like he's playing with that story even further here. So let's dive on into this and take a closer look. Here we are at this alien planet. Um, this actually reminds me of something that he created a long time ago. Let me search this one up. If I just type in Combat Wombat into my video search engine, I will get all his videos. So it's something for worth you guys checking out because Combat is one of the best at exploration coasters. Where is he? He's done so many. It's a list. Titan's Railroad. This reminds me similar of Titan's Railroad. He did something really interesting with the terrain with that. He did the rock, the red rock, the, the white rock, as well as some snow. And you can see some really cool terrain paint. And this is what I like to see from an exploration coaster. And in fact, uh, I've been kind of hoping to do an exploration coaster contest too. And I think this would be a prime example. You even got some green glowing ooze down there. So he said he wanted me to check out the queue. So let's go. Wow. How long is this coaster? 5,600 meters. My goodness. I don't even know where the train is. Let's, uh, I wish there was a go to, go to station button. Is there? I mean, I, you think I would know this by now. <laughs> okay, well, there, there's the lift. So it's got to be back here. There it is. Nailed it. All right, so he says the queue is interesting, but we don't really know where it begins. So what we're going to do is we're going to work through the queue backwards. Definitely very interesting. So this is kind of like the inner workings of the Infinity Engine from episode 300. But now they've got the Infinity Engine to work and we travel amongst worlds. Very cool. What a neat idea. And that's the exit. And how do we even get... And the, the, the crappy thing is I'm going to go all the way out here and go, how do I get back to the station? Well, that's actually quite all right because we could actually just go straight into riding the coaster from here. Oh, it leads us to the end of the world. Oh. Well, I don't know what just happened. We're back at the station. Combat Warp Incorporated. Very cool queue indeed. Let's take a look at the stats on this bad boy. All sorts of crazy stuff happening here. All green stats across the board. We're going to close it down, put it into test mode. Is there a song? Action coaster. It is today. We're going to jump on this thing with no guests. So we got no flailing arms going straight into seat view. Let's check it out.
Wow! I gotta say, this might be my favorite craze from Combat Wombat, yet the variety of this coaster is phenomenal. I think we gotta give it one more ride at nighttime to see if it's any different, but holy freaking moly, I did not expect that. Now, what makes this so unique to me is the mixture between sci-fi uh, construction, like the industrial heavy man-made, or I, I would say, yeah, man-made space technology, so it's like man-made this stuff, but then the the alien technology down below. And when we come out, it's 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 got it tells a story, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. We start off in this uh, human-style space station or infinity engine, what however you want to call it. Then we emerge into this alien-like world. And you did a really cool job with this smoke, the green gassy smoke. It's like a gas planet of sorts and these really cool plants and stuff. And got to say, the terrain is just amazing. This is exactly what I want to, excuse me, what I want to see from an exploration coaster. We got toxic ooze down below. We got big fat mushrooms, all sorts of great f flora and fauna that's not... Uh, native to Planet Coaster. This is all handmade stuff, combinations of pieces to make these really cool terrain. And we come out and we get a good look at some really gnarly uh, terrain and it's spiraling and helixing around the coaster, doing some really cool stuff. It almost looks like DNA strands, like the planet is alive. And we get some really gnarly colors. Love the uses of green, and that's rare coming from me. Usually everybody uses green way too strongly, and I love the use of like yellowy greens, um, the toxicity of it all. It all seems so cool. <clears throat> and then we come back out and we hit get those hits of orange again, the gray, and all sorts of cool stuff. And look at the canyons and the vistas down below as we're dropping through here. Just absolutely gorgeous. And it goes on and on like this. And the use of momentum, this coaster is dropped. Like we went so far already and we have coming down. And as it's gaining lots of speed, it comes all the way back up. And just as it starts running out of speed again, we're coming right back down and gaining so much freaking speed. And then we start going up again. It's up, it's down. It's it's fast. It's such great use of momentum. And then at the very end there, we just come crawling into the station. You know, I think Galcium BTH was one of my first examples of great use of momentum. Uh, since then, he hasn't really been active in the community. And we're seeing guys like Combat Wombat come over and take the throne with these crazy long 5,000 meter coasters that just go up and down and are just like scenic the whole way through look at this i think uh combat takes the crown today with this creation in terms of uh best exploration coaster or one of the best exploration coasters we're gonna have to see but this this should in my opinion win the top 10 coasters of the month there's nothing i didn't like about this creation and it only got better like i said we're following this coaster along and it has this beginning middle and end and right now we're in the middle it's like check out this terrain check out this world and you've you've have a mix between gas planet and fungi it, it all works so well together and um you beautiful lighting uh you mean you're you're playing on the the strengths of planet coaster here that when that in in which uh the game has beautiful lighting but what you've done is you've allowed shadows to do their job you've created interesting terrain where it casts shadows over we're going through cool feeling uh, divots and and dugouts and then we start seeing hints of alien technology and good job good job using this um, what do you call it? Corrugated steel? I don't know what it's called. I mean, actually, it's uh, it's the adventure pieces. The it's gold. It's gold colored black, and it it does give the way the specular map hits this stuff. It feels like really heavy duty ancient or ancient alien metals. And then we go through the gas chambers, and this is where stuff starts getting gnarly. More of this creepy underground stuff, and then it just seems like some creatures live down here and they're doing they're up to something crazy they're up to some shenanigans this makes me feel like something out of the alien movie look at the way the lighting and the specular maps hit on these pieces just columns 
And this is where the story starts to shift, where it just felt like it was an alien planet, but alien in terms of bacteria, um, fungus, and gases, but not a lot of, you know, life. If there is life, it would be insects and, and tiny little, you know, um, bacterias. But then we get down here and we suddenly start realizing that there was a colonization here, if not still here. Um, the only thing that maybe would have topped it for me is to see... I know combat's really good at creating creatures. Maybe we get to uh, a certain point where we start seeing these creatures. Oh, we have a nest of some sort here. So something is growing. There is a nest. So maybe some of the things I didn't quite catch. Look at the way these canals are done. This is freaking insane. Um, yeah, uh, so it, it does seem like something advanced, intelligent life has an underground network of a civilization, a futuristic civilization down here. And I just love that. It looks so cool. And here we're seeing some cocoons and eggs. So you do have something growing down here, living down here. But it's very abstract and something you wouldn't expect. Like, do they, what do they look like? What are they? It has you asking questions and wanting more. But whatever it lives down here, they're, they're obviously smart and intelligent, and they construct things. You had some really cool effects here. I love the way you lit up these panels and put these branches on. It looks like a hive. Then you got some eye here, like it's watching you. Uh, combat always has to throw in some kind of crazy thing like that. I remember Into the Jungle, he had a beating heart halfway through the coaster, and I thought that was so cool. I mean, you're definitely an impressionable builder, and yeah, I just followed the whole track and gave a commentary the whole way through, and uh, without a missed beat there. That's how much there is to talk about on this coaster here. Just freaking mind-blowing. One of my favorite coasters of the year, because it's so unique. Um, we've seen Alien, we've seen Toxic, we've seen Fungi Planets, we've seen different things, but this takes them all and puts them together cohesively and makes it a nice package. So there's nothing wrong with doing what's been done before, but taking all those elements and it's kind of like how the analogy would be like how Blizzard makes games. Like Overwatch, it's not a unique shooter by any means, but it takes what every single team-based shooter does and brings them all together in a nice package. And that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing sci-fi, alien, uh, really cool terrain, uh, a single rail coaster that goes for 5,000 meters. All that stuff has been done, but this brings them all together and does them so well and tells a story along the way. Hats off to you. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm raving about it. So we're going to check it out at nighttime and I guess like try cinematic and see how that goes. Here we go.
so freaking awesome. Some pretty good shots there in cinematic for nighttime. I mean, uh, the nighttime lighting is it's good, even though it, it doesn't seem like much. It's like the alien life is glowing and breathing and the sparkles on these little baubles is so perfect. Just gives a little bit of illumination. I love it. Absolutely love it. I am blown away. One of my favorite creations of the year. I don't know what it is. I said everything I said. <laughs> I do know what it is. I like everything about it. Um, it's unique. It's strange. It's weird. And that's what I like about it. It's not often we see this much innovation two years after the game has been made. Just goes to show that a game like this, just the cre creativity never ends and that is why we have 500 plus coaster spotlights going strong with plenty more to come so thank you combat wombat for sharing yet an yet another amazing creation the strongest exploration coasters to end off the year man setting the bar high taking the throne the king of exploration coasters right here this is awesome hopefully it inspires you guys to do some kick-ass exploration coasters and i think we're gonna have to do an exploration coaster contest and use this as the template boom let me know what you guys thought of this creation down in the comments below love to hear your thoughts i'm sure combat will as well also check out the link down below to give him a rating because he absolutely deserves it and that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. If you enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you'd like to support the show because you enjoy all the content here and what I do on the channel, please do consider becoming a patron as your support will allow me to continue making these spotlights. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.